All right, I'd like to um, share with you some of my insights about spiritual healing, which is a very interesting topic. I was not born into a family that practiced spiritual healing. I went to church when I was young, a congregational church, but it always seemed like the stories about the healings that Jesus did and the miracles that he performed were more like fairy tales than something that we could do in our real lives. So I never really understood how spiritual healing worked until I needed a healing. And I had one, a spontaneous healing. So I want to share with you uh, some of the insights I've gotten over the years about spiritual healing because it's very almost disorienting when you have a spiritual healing for the first time. Mine was with this diagnosis of cancer. So I went from the worst fear I've ever felt in my life to total freedom. But for three days, I was in an altered state of consciousness. I was living in Marin County, California. I walked out of this woman's home office um, where she activated this spiritual healing in me by just saying one simple sentence, which was, you're the perfect child of God and perfect health is your birthright. As soon as she said that in a nanosecond, I went back to my birth basically, and I was able to take a look at myself and go, but of course, I wasn't born with any condition. So I must have created it with my negative thinking. And I realized that's what I'd done because I'd been depressed. I was dating someone that wasn't making me happy. I was frustrated and um, I had a terrible fear called cancer. So you combine all those things and sure enough, I manifested a diagnosis of early cancer. I realized though, when I heard those words, you're the perfect child of God and perfect health is your birthright, that I could reverse it. If I'd created it, I could turn it around and be perfect again. And that's what I did. And that's how it works. Once we begin to understand that mind is controlling the body, not the other way around, we're not victims of our bodies. We have dominion. We are sovereign. Our minds are in control of our bodies. And we can control how they operate by declaring and claiming what we desire. It's a process, I have to admit, when things come up, we have to um, address them. And after this spontaneous healing, I found I still um, would get, you know, a cold now and then or something would happen. But it was interesting because every year I got strep throat until I had this healing when I was about 26 years old. Never had a strep throat again. I don't think I've ever had one since. Gone. So these epicycles of evil that we kind of expect to happen to us sometimes. Sometimes, you know, we talk about allergy season. Certain people get allergies every year at the same time. If you're programming yourself for that to happen, it can happen. But if you start to reprogram yourself and say to yourself, I'm free of anything that could possibly interfere with my well-being. Perfect health is my birthright. And you claim it. Then you stop those cycles. Now, um, I was just recently listening to someone um, who channels Bashar, this fellow named um, Anka, and um, he was talking about spiritual healing and how it's not very common because in order to effect a spiritual healing, you have to turn your thought in the direction of being healed and get rid of every ounce of doubt that creeps in and tries to keep you from manifesting. And we see that in people. You know, you can go to the doctor. The doctor that called me up and told me I wanted, he wanted to, me to have surgery the following week, when I said to him, well, what would happen if I choose not to do that? Well, his depressing comment to me was, you'll be dead by the time you're 40. <laughs> Which was not good news at all. That put me into even more of a state of horror and fright but that's what happens you know instead of giving people hope 
and telling them that um, everything's going to work out, many times people get these bad, this bad information, this bad news. I know down in Brazil, um, I don't think it's even legal to tell someone they don't have very long to live. I've been told that by some of the students that have come to my trainings that are from Brazil. They said, oh no, that's considered um, you know, malpractice or illegal to give someone a bad diagnosis with no hope. So I'm all for being hopeful. And instead of focusing on the problem, focus on the solution. Because if you really want to get yourself into a higher level of consciousness where you have no fear, you're living in harmony, you're living in flow, you're not afraid of your body, you're not afraid of old age, you're just happy, you need to purge yourself of all those negative thoughts that can creep in from your surroundings, your programming, the bad news and everything else that's around you. But once you make a conscious decision to focus on what you desire and is good, then magical, amazing things will start happening to you and around you. And you'll find you might even be able to heal other people. I've done that many times. You go to um, that level of consciousness where there are no problems. We call it the fifth dimension or the Christ. And when you're there, if you feel like you're connecting with someone that needs a healing and you see them radiant, in perfect health, happy, they can benefit from it tremendously and sometimes have an instantaneous healing. That's how it works because we're all connected at that level of consciousness. At the three-dimensional level of consciousness, not so much because that's the beta level. But once you get into the alpha theta level of consciousness in that deep meditative state and you shut out the world and you see things the way you desire them to be, in harmony, healthy, productive, happy, joyous, you will manifest more of that into your experience and the other stuff will just disappear. Let's say you're um, having a relationship problem. This is very common where people work with people they don't necessarily get along with very well or even their intimate relationships can be problematic with their spouses or their children or their parents. Well, if you just constantly expect to have a problem every time you're around that person, you will keep getting more of the same. But if you step back and you neutralize it by seeing yourself having a good, good experience when you're with that person and rehearsing it in your mind, um, having the kind of experience or outcome that you desire, you will see that when you're together, things will work out. And if they're not meant to work out, there'll be some way, somehow, that you just won't deal with each other anymore. That can happen too. Many times people have said um, they just started sending love to a difficult colleague at work. Pretty soon the colleague either got a promotion left or moved to another company or something would happen in, so that they really didn't have to deal with it anymore. But see, if you're resisting it, if you're saying, I can't stand that person, I can't stand feeling this way, whatever you resist will persist. That's a wonderful expression that metaphysical people use. What you resist persists. So every time you're pushing it away, you're actually pulling it closer toward you because it's in your consciousness. Once you begin to understand that the only reality is what's happening in your consciousness, you're creating it with your imagination. Then you begin to understand that you have control over what you're creating and you become more conscious of what you're thinking about and you start to choose more carefully what you think about before you meet people, um, when you go to bed at night, when you wake up in the morning. You do not want to go into those terrible negative states that so many people find themselves in, which causes depression, suicide even, you know. People don't know how to pull themselves out of these negative states. But there are techniques. There are techniques. They've always been around, but you have to dig to find them. You have to take courses like this. You have to have a, an interest in it. You have to not want to feel horrible all the time and want to find a way to free yourself 
from these negative states. And if you truly desire that, the solutions will show up.